President Cyril Ramaphosa is today expected to visit the disaster-stricken Yachesfontein in the Free State. This after a mine, um, a burst mine dam caused massive damage to houses and infrastructure in the area. One person has been confirmed dead, with dozens of others, including a pregnant woman, hospitalized. They are mostly being treated for hypothermia, while others have sustained fractures. For the latest on the situation there, we are now joined by the MEC responsible for cooperative governance and traditional affairs in the Free State, Nkolisi Dukwana. Uh, MEC, thank you. Thank you for your time. Good to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Leah. So, MEC, if you don't mind, please just updating us on, firstly, the, the, the number of fatalities. We are reporting one. Is it still standing at one? And how are those that have been injured? Yes, we so far, we, when the uh, search was called off last night, we were only talking of one body that was recovered. And uh, today we will actually uh, try to establish a number of facts, uh, especially around those who are missing. And because it is a mud, it becomes very difficult also to, unless you know exactly uh, who is missing and what happened, uh, so we can't actually get to the th such details up until we, we have all the, the, the facts right. At the moment, we only have one uh, reported and, and confirmed that a body that has been retrieved. And after cleaning, the families will be asked to come and identify. We were not sure exactly. Uh, there was an old man that was missing, and it is, it is actually believed it could be his body. Uh, up until uh, the forensic has done the cleaning and everything, we will know today exactly. Yeah. There are six uh, people who are still in hospital, four uh, females and two uh, males, and others, uh, depending on their injuries, have been uh, uh, transferred to Alfred Nzula Hospital in Tromsberg, which is a regional hospital. It's fractures other serious injuries in the face and, you know, limbs, but others were treated and released, uh, and quite a number of those were treated and released uh, yesterday. Yeah. So in terms of the, the number of community members that are living there, what, what are we looking at? I mean, what is, what is the population that has been affected? It's, it's more than 300, uh, to be exactly. Uh, but you know, the it, it differs the you know what the impact uh, that has had to the families. In uh, Charlesville, for instance, you have uh, almost about fifteen houses that were completely washed away. Uh, there is nothing left. It's actually a foundation. You can't believe that there was a structure there. Uh, and in others whilst the, the house has, uh, is still standing. But the damage inside, uh, water was, you know, the mud was right at the window uh, level. And uh, the furniture, everything is, is damaged. And uh, you have others that you would have a, a damage, uh, you know, only to property, but there is mud and the cleaning has to take place before they can use the, their own uh, areas. And down, in the, in, the, in the township, uh, you have also uh, a number of houses that are affected, but at least we do not have a washed away house, but there's a lot of uh, mud inside these houses. Yeah. And uh, families had to be uh, evacuated, and some have, have actually been transported to, uh, because of shortages, uh, uh, they have been trans uh, tra transported to Bluefontein, Glen College, where they are housed as, as okay. families. Uh, so that, that was my next question. Where are the community being housed currently? So at, uh, at Glen College, is that one of the places? Where else? I mean, I, I, I can imagine there are a few sites that have been set up to assist the communities. Yes, but last night when we were with the families, many uh, prefer to, uh, to go and stay in their relatives, with their relatives. And, uh, and we believe that today many would also prefer to be taken, you know, uh, to these places of safety. We have a number of them, the President Hotel, as well as the, the, the Glen College in Bloemfontein.
Yeah. Those will be places that will be accommodating these people. MEC, what happened? I mean, that, that's the question everybody obviously is asking. Clearly, <coughs> uh, investigations are going to start in earnest or if they have started already. Is there any indication of what caused this incident? We, we, we at the moment, it is difficult to speculate, but uh, by the look of things, it could be negligence. Uh, and uh, because the, there are uh, pro procedures that uh, you, you use to maintain this to avoid this from happening. From what we gathered at the moment is that family, uh, you know, people staying around have been complaining about this. And even some of the workers have actually, even the day before this uh, 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 incident took place, that uh, they, they warned that something was not okay, but uh, we hear that they say uh, such warnings were ignored, but uh, this will be subject, uh, subject of investigations. But uh, families actually, many are traumatized. For instance, yesterday they were uh, not sure whether to go back to their homes because they did not uh, trust any person who would say uh, that uh, if, if they were to go back to their houses, those whose houses have not uh, been uh, destroyed, if, if this will not happen again. So they, say, they said, I mean, these, these people, uh, were even despite the warnings, they, they, were, they, they, con they were just uh, indicating that the things are okay, nothing will happen. Yeah. So it was difficult for them to trust any person. So in terms of... of, of responsibility for this. Um, we, we've heard a little bit from government. Obviously, the president is going there. Um, uh, the minister is saying he's going to cut short a trip uh, to in South Sudan. He's going to make his way back as well to come and assess and see what's going on. But government has said that the responsibility lies on the shoulders, obviously, of the mine owner. And from what I can understand is that it's Yachas Fontaine Development Pty Limited who own the mine. Um, they, uh, they bought the mine from De Beers, which is a unit of Anglo-American more than 10 years ago. Is, is that your understanding as well? Have, have the mine spoken out? Have, they, have, they, have you been in touch with them as yet? We're going to be to, 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 to be in touch with them today. All, the only thing that we were doing yesterday was for, to ask them to, to arrange uh, all these things, and they were cooperating. Uh, for instance, they are the ones who booked uh, for these uh, uh, people to stay in, 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 in Bloemfontein and uh, in those areas and provided some, uh, some, some of the things that uh, they, you know, they can be assisted with. But also government has a responsibility. We can't uh, shake away our responsibility in this case. We, we, we need, as, as a disaster management has come into play, the Department of Cocta Health, Social Development, the Office of the Premier has been coordinating all these things. And uh, we, 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 we want to make sure that uh, we, we minimize the suffering of, uh, of these people by making sure that we do what we have to do, for instance, in providing uh, shelter and, and, and bring back the, their own uh, lives, uh, you know, by uh, ensuring that we, the houses are constructed again and, and, uh, and, and, and people uh, come back to their normal lives. Uh, there is nothing as, 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 as cruel as you waking up and you, you had everything, uh, and when you wake up, there is nothing. There are stories, for instance, that cars were moving out of the garages as if uh, they were driven by somebody and just washed away. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, some of the livestock, one old man was really devastated that everything that he had and he had worked for has actually been washed away. Uh, so these are some of the, the, the things that we need to, to, to deal with, especially understanding the suffering and the pain of, the, of these people instead of uh, fighting who should uh, not do what, who should do what. Our responsibility is make sure that uh, we minimize the pain, the suffering, 
and ensure that they come back to life, uh, their normal lives. You know, MEC, we're just sort of obviously getting the after effects and the reaction from a lot of members in the community and in communities like this that live right next to mines who constantly ring alarm bells and talk about the unsafe conditions that they live in. In this particular community, who say they, you know, they, they, they literally meters away from this dam. And for about 10 or 11 years, they've been talking about how dangerous this is and there is going to be a tragedy. And here we are talking about that exact tragedy that alarm bells were sort of spoken about many, many years ago. You know, when are we going to get to the bottom of that? I suppose this isn't the platform right now. We, we need to take an in-depth conversation on that. But, you know, communities yeah. that live in and around these mines, this is just another indication that it is not safe to be doing this. And are these mine owners doing enough? Which, in my opinion, we're seeing no. I think we need to have, uh, you know, difficult and intentional conversations with the mining houses and, and many of these corporations. Uh, I think the, the, there is this need to, to, to begin to be human in, in the manner in which people do their businesses. Uh, as we would understand, uh, you know, in a capitalist society, it, it comes normal to some of these businesses. Uh, just to, to, to chase profit instead of looking after the, the lives of the ordinary people who stay. You will remember the, uh, the, the, the Mary Spray disaster. And as we speak, uh, families are now reliving the stories. And families, many families are saying, we have not been uh, compensated since then. It happened many years ago. And, the, and, and, and I think the, these are some of the, the, the stories that our people are saying, look, uh, these things happen, but once uh, the, the whole uh, attention is moved away, nobody cares, nothing happens. And I think we should have learned from this and avoid situations like this. One would have thought that the mining houses would have learned from this mistake and avoid the Mary Sprite uh, disaster that uh, took many lives from Indeed. occurring. Yeah. Here we are, it has happened. Yeah, but we definitely have to uh, get to the bottom and hear from the mine owners. Um, MEC, got to let you go, but if you don't mind, just very quickly, any news on the electricity? Because we know that supply completely shut off. ESCOM saying they may be able to try and bring a little bit of power to the area by tomorrow. Not sure if you know in terms of infrastructure how, how when power can be restore, restored there. The, the, I, I think it's going to is going to take some time because the okay. whole uh, substation has been submitted. And because of that, it has also affected the provision of water from uh, Bloom Water, which would uh, also because of what has happened, and it has been having uh, problems in this area with water. So Bloom Water has warned that the only the capacity is only for today morning we would uh, also have a problem with water. So there are plans and the blue water has actually moved with speed to make sure that we, we avoid any disaster from occurring. All right, uh, MEC, thank you. Thanks for the update. We definitely will be getting more updates as the day goes along. I'm sure the story is going to develop at quite a pace uh, with the visit of the president pending. And that, of course, is a story we'll uh, bring you as well in our news. That was the MEC responsible for cooperative governance and traditional affairs in the Free State, Nkolisi Dukwana, talking uh, about what happened in Yachas Fontaine. Let's hand it over to SK. She's got more in the news, but we'll also have that story as well.